Hey guys, this is Guy here. Welcome to KB Trainings. In this quick video that nobody asked for, I'm just going to show you how you can find a device lost in your network. Uh, what you see here is my 40 gate dashboard. I have an old device in my storage back there that has been connected to the network for too long. I don't even know what is the IP address to that device. It's one of my old laptops and let me show you what it looks like. So this is it. It's sitting in the back, like I said, on top of this 40 switch here. And all I know is that it's connected to the port number three on the 40 switch. That's all I know. I don't know what the IP address. I don't know anything. And I don't have any screen on it. That's why I'm not able to use it. So the screen is completely uh, out. So I, uh, you might have seen this on this channel earlier because I, I went from 16 gigabyte to 32. And I think I made a video about it. So today I'm going to find how to connect here with RDP or remote desktop protocol. That's my main way to connect to this computer since it's sitting back there. So my goal is to find where or find what is the IP address of this device. And I'm going to show you how to do that on a 40 gate. And of course, depending on your environment, it might be different. And we have a couple of ways to do that. Inside the 40 gate, I can go under the device inventory. If you look here on the dashboards, you have this option down here. You can go under device inventory uh, monitor. It's right here. So this is a list of all the devices that you have in your network. And if you don't have this here, you can click the little plus sign there. You can add the, the device inventory monitor. So here I can see all the different devices, but I don't know which one is the one I want to find. Um, all I know is the name of the switch it's connected to, and I also know the port number on that switch. So with that, as you can see, I don't have many devices connected. I have only five links that are up. So if I can find the port of this switch inside the 40 gate, I'll be able to find the IP. So under device, uh, device inventory, I can come here and add a new column. I can click, click on this little gear and make sure I select 40 switch or even the interface uh, and let's do apply here. And I can see the 40 switches are right there. So I can come here and also filter for the storage 40 switch, which is how I call this uh, switch here. So it's going to show me devices that are connected to the, okay, you only need to refresh here if you don't see anything. So I have it there and I can, clearly see that this is the Windows computer I'm looking for. And the IP is 10.35.0.19. Let me see if I can ping that IP. I'm opening my command line right now. Let's see if I can ping it. I'm not able to ping it. That's fine because sometimes I don't know if my network is registered as private or if I disabled pings on there. So that's not a problem. But what I can try is to um, RDP into that device. So let me turn on RDP and bring it here. So as you can see, I'm able to put 10.35.0.19. It's asking for a password. That is a good thing already. And once I log in, all right, we can see the certificate is being verified. And yes, I am now able to access the device, which is a beautiful thing. It's up here, let me, all right. Yep, so I'm able to get into it. That was really good. So if you don't want to do it here, by the way, if you know any other way to do it, leave it in a comment. And if you like these kind of videos, these kind of small nuggets that are bring you out of nowhere, make sure you like them on YouTube and you share the video. Also subscribe to the channel if you want to hang out with me in my lab anytime. So another way I can find that same information is by going under... Uh, Wi-Fi and switch controller. I can search for 40 switch client. This is showing you actually more information. You can see the 40 switch is there. You can see the port number. What I can do is uh, come here and filter by port number. I can do uh, port 23 since I know that's where it's connected. And I don't have anything. Let me refresh. Yep, it shows there. Um, this is the Windows I've been looking for. Um, if you also know the MAC address and you have access to the GUI, I mean to the CLI, you can uh, filter that. Uh, you can use that as well. Let's say, for example, if I double-click here, 
I can grab the MAC address that is there. Let me copy it. And then I can open the CLI. I can look at the ARP table by doing, and by the way, the MAC address, you can get it uh, in many ways. You can uh, find it on uh, NIC itself if you, can, if you have access to it. Or let's just assume that you have it somehow. So you can come here and do, uh, let me zoom in a little bit. So we can do get um, system ARP. Oops, sorry. System ARP. And this will show me all the different devices that I have. But I can be very granular by filtering by MAC address. So if I come here and um, do show system ARP pipe grep and then put the MAC address that I just copied. Now I will be able to see the device IP address right here. Another way that you may think about, but that wouldn't work, is to go check the ARP table inside the switch. Because you know that if you go under uh, managed uh, switches or managed 40 switches, you can right click on the switch itself and connect to CLI. So if I connect to it um, and insert the password, I'm able to get into the switch. I can do the same command, get system ARP. But you're going to notice here that what you see there is not the VLAN interface. So all the VLAN interface ARP related uh, data is on the 40 gate because that's where the VLAN interface, in my case, it's called main 35. That's where the interface is located and that's where the ARP table is. So the ARP table is not locally on the switch. All we have is standard 32.0.1, which is on the internal interface inside the switch. So that's uh, something you should know if you are uh, trying to find a device in, in this way. The switch doesn't have much information since it's all being managed by the 40 gate as the switch controller. All right, that's it. I'm glad that I'm able to get access to this device. Actually, I'm planning to use it for some uh, GNS3 uh, demonstration for my CCNA course. By the way, if you're studying for the CCNA 200 301, I have the best course online or the best course online. You can find it on en.kbtrainings.com. It goes from zero to engineer. So I can use, I'm going to use this computer to install um, VMware Workstation and GNS3, as well as uh, CML or Cisco Modeling Lab, just to show my students how to practice. Of course, this is beyond Packet Tracer. All right, guys, that's all for today. I'm just glad to share with you this information. I hope it was helpful. If you like what I do, make sure you follow me on social media at Gibi Sukuf, my personal account, or KB Trainings for my training account. And if you, again, like I said, if you are studying for the CCNA, it's on en.kbtrainings.com. More trainings coming there on Foodnet, on um, Meraki, on Palo Alto, and so on. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.